Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your reading for October 2017. This is intended to be a general reading. We're going to see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled these four decks for you. Now I am going to start. This um, may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. This is for moon, sun, or rising signs. I will zoom this in in a minute. <laughs> before I started shuffling the cards, or actually while I was shuffling, before I turned the camera on, I was saying, what do you have for Gemini? You know, just asking that question. And I was thinking, and what came to my mind was excitement. And that is the basis of your reading, okay? That card that came out at the basis of your reading is excitement. So this is going to be an exciting month for you. And it could be lusty, because that was the other word that I heard. Okay, um, so we do have some fire energy here, which is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. We also have Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. We have Aries again. We have Scorpio and Cancer and Sagittarius. We do have Pisces as well, so Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We have a Libra. Um, so yeah, so that's what we have so far. So, like I said, the basis of your reading is excitement. So this is going to be going to be an exciting month. I think there is probably, you know, there's some controlling behavior. So you might be well in control of things in your life. I don't think there's much disarray. There, there could be some sadness, okay, some heartache over something. Um, I'm not sure what that is, but there is some kind of heartache here. Um, it doesn't look, but it looks like you have everything under control. Um, I see a transformation with the chariot and the death card right next to each other. There's a major life transformation this month. Maybe, you know, somebody is leaving, okay, because we have the eight of cups. Maybe you're leaving a situation or somebody um, is leaving a situation that involves you, all right? But I see that it's a very good thing. It brings balance to your life, all right? So I think that your life is is is, is pretty well organized this month, okay? Um, I see that um, there is some inner conflicts, though. I mean, your life is well organized, but you have some inner conflicts. I think your heart is still hurting over something. All right. May, perhaps there was some secret that you knew about and it finally has come out because we have the high priestess. It was a secret that was known. So, and it hurts. Whatever this secret was, it could involve an earth sign or a fire sign. Um, but I see you're mastering your emotions very, very, very well. I mean, you're, it's a very controlled, it looks like the month you're completely in control of your emotions, all right? And I think there's a new beginning here with the chariot and the death card. There's a new beginning. Something has been left behind and you're ready to start something new, all right? Um, I think you've been through a period of healing. If not, you may be in that process right now during this month because we have some healing going on here, rebalancing. Um, you could be, take, you may be even <clears throat> overindulging because of a loss, okay? Because of this heartache, you could be overindulging. There could be some addictions. Like I said, this may or may not resonate with everybody. Um, the Justice card is also about karma. This is also the sign of Libra. It's about doing the right thing for you, all right? Something heavy has been weighing you down and I think that's what you've let go 
because I see that the main basis of your reading is excitement. It's like you have this new discovery and you are ready to go and you are ready to take a risk and you're ready to start something new and that's very exciting. You're exciting for the future this month. I think that you've let something go that was um, holding you back, which was heavy for you and you... And it hurts to let it go, but you're doing it anyway because you have to keep things in control. You have to keep things balanced and you're just, you have to let it go because you're ready for something new. And you're ready to do the right thing for you. I think you're just acting in a very decisive way this month. I think you're being very decisive and you're, you're there's it's like a no bullshit month. It's like, you know, I I have to do what I have to do for me and that's the way it is and you know, I think you're happy about it. You know, you have a plan. You're moving forward and you're excited about it. Even though whatever you had to let go hurt It's a time of rebirth, okay? It is. It's a time of rebirth re or renewal for you. I see that things are going to be very, are being are very harmonious this month. All right, and I see that um, this is like something new on a physical level, handed to you from above. So it could be a gift of money. It could be a gift of of love. I mean, it could be a new partner, but it could be a gift of money. It could be. Um, something new like um, I think it has to do with love though because there's a lot of love around it so I, I think it has to do with love but this is usually something new on a physical level could be a new home could be a gift of money um, a gift of anything tangible but it also can be a new partner all right this I gotta finish dealing the cards You could, yeah, you could, you could have a new partnership right around the corner if it's not here already. It's getting very dark in here, so I'm not sure if I have to turn a light on or what. I think I do. Hold on for a second. The sun just went down. I don't know if that helps at all. There we go. All right, so the basis of your reading we're going to keep uncovered because this is what this is the main basis of your reading excitement. Okay, the page of wands, you have an exciting new discovery. Um, I think that you're feeling very confident, you're ready to go, you're ready to take a risk. It's like, you know what, I'm gonna do this, I can do it. That's the way it is. It has to do with love. It does because I think that you want true love and that's where, why these changes are happening. And there could be true love here for you this month. There could be. I think it's a time of renewal. It's a time of rebirth. I think that your soul is very beautiful. And whoever it is when I, when I am talking that comes to mind obviously feels that way about you as well because this woman is very, very beautiful. All right, so this can this reading is for a man or a woman, woman, but this is just saying that you are very attractive at this time. You are shining, glowing, beautiful. You you're feeling um, renewed, okay? But it's after some hurt. So yeah, you've been through some hurt, but now it's a time of rebirth, and I think that you know there is a, a chance for new love here. Um, this right here, the Ten of Swords. This is a disappointment okay it's a disappointment and it's time for you to to cut that cord whatever it is that is holding you back that has caused this complete um death anguish ending hurt you know whatever has caused this major major hurt or heaviness that you've been carrying around it's time to cut that cord. That's what this says. This is cutting the cord, doing the right thing for you, okay? That's what this woman does. 
She takes care of herself first. Now, this is a man or a woman. This this person puts them, that's why this energy came out. If you have any doubts about following your your intuition or following your gut or moving forward with your plan, if you have any doubt or you're a little bit of fear, usually there's no fear here. This card says take care of yourself first because if you don't, nobody else is going to, okay? Take care of yourself first. That's what this person does, all right? And it will bring you a lot of peace and harmony, okay? It will. It will bring you peace and harmony and you will feel like you have um you have the ability to equally give and take okay it's just a lot of harmony all right so you something is going or something has already gone which has caused this new rebirth this new renewal that has caused you to reorganize your life and to regain the structure and master your emotions i think that you are moving forward um onto a new path because you have learned to master your emotions and to take care of yourself first and to put yourself first and i think that you are excited for the future and you should be because it looks really really bright it does look like there is some love here. There could, some of you, you know, could get pregnant. There could be a birth. Um, but that can also mean a rebirth of who you are. Eight of Wands, Page of Swords, Five of Wands, Temperance again. So we do have a Sagittarius here that might be kind of, that that might be kind of um, upset, and I'm not sure who the Sagittarius is, but they might not give up as easily, and they might be causing you havoc. Okay. Just so you know, that it could be a fire sign that may be um, just not ready to let go. And it's causing you more hurt and you're ready to let go. This is a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, all right? Could be any other sign. Could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius as well. As well. But I see somebody is kind of like sulking. They may be trying to manipulate you or, you know, just kind of um, watching you, you know, not letting go okay they don't they don't they want to um they don't want you to be excited okay because i think that they probably um aren't too happy about your your new rebirth okay so that's what i think about that um in the last card page of coins but this says don't quit keep going you're on the right fat path i can't talk today for nothing Okay, keep going. You are on the right path. Slow and steady wins the race. Do not quit, okay? Um, remember to just act in kindness, okay? Um, you might have to step outside of your comfort zone a little bit to get through this, you know? Um, you may have to be uh, forceful in saying, you know what, no. I don't I don't want this anymore. No, okay? So there may you may need to be forceful, all right? Because this person I see that somebody isn't going to give up very easily and um you might have to show some some force with that. I mean not like abusive force, just you know, firmly say no. No. You know. I see that you're going to have to take control of the situation and I think that you are. So I think this this month is about you know, taking control, remaining organized, doing the right thing for you, um, starting something over. I think there's a new beginning here. I do think that there is love. Um, you could get a gift. You could get a raise. You could get a gift of money. Um, there's all signs here. So you definitely have a, a Sagittarius, I think, that is at play in your life. 
um, could be a, a Leo or an Aries as well, or you do have you have all the signs here, so I, it really could be any sign. Um, I think there's some children that may be um, opposing you. Okay, there may be some children that are not happy with your decision to put yourself first. Just saying. Um, this may or may not resonate with everybody because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. And this bit might resonate and this bit might not. So that's because it's for so many. Back to what you love. I'm not sure if you guys got this for your weekly reading or what. Somebody did. Back to what you love. Number three. I wonder if it was you. Hmm. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. You have the ability to change what you are doing at any time. You don't have to feel like you are stuck. Go back to what you know and more importantly to what you love. Ask your angels to guide you with this process. You can do anything that you truly want to. Take an inventory and find where you got off track and then find what you need to get back to you. This is, you guys did get this for the last one. I'm pretty sure it was you. That's amazing. Yeah. Keep doing it. You're on the right path. You matter. Put yourself first. Okay. Excitement for the month of October. That's the basis of your reading. It looks like an exciting month. Somebody might not be happy about your decisions, but you matter. That's what I see.